All right, many people asking what's next for all those businesses devastated by this fire. Eugene Daniels spent the day in Virginia Beach and spoke with the owner of the now burned down property that housed two restaurants and a clothing store. He picks up our team coverage. This is all that remains of this group of businesses that burned down Tuesday night. This giant pile of charred debris now sits where some of these establishments served this community for decades. After battling flames for hours, smoke from the rubble brought Virginia Beach firefighters back to this strip on Atlantic Avenue this morning. Three businesses, King of the Sea, Maple Tree Pancake House, and the T-Shirt Factory all burned to the ground. Everything has a life. Including buildings. John Vacos owns this commercial property, which he says his father built more than 60 years ago. We found him surveying the damage and trying to turn the water off to the building as he figures out his next moves. Number one is to clear the sidewalk out there, uh, get some trucks in here. That's what we're working on this morning. And then clean the, uh, around this building right here so the tenants can go back in. He's talking about tenants next door. Vacos also owns the building right behind the destruction, which houses lifestyle meals, along with four apartments upstairs. He told 13 News Now people living in the apartments were moved to a nearby hotel overnight, but only one unit appears to have significant damage. Meanwhile, the owners of Lifestyle Meals, a meal prep company, says they're closed indefinitely. Vacos says his heart goes out to his longtime tenants who lost their businesses in the fire. Both family-owned restaurants served the oceanfront for decades. It's, it's like if you have a restaurant and you work there for a huge number of years, you try to sell it when you retire. They got nothing to sell. In Virginia Beach, Eugene Daniel, 13 News Now. A representative for Lifestyle Meals says that they will work with all paid customers on refunds and make sure no charges come out while they work to understand the building's condition. 